everyone, it's Lydia and I have a project share today. So I created some three by three fairy themed note cards. They turned out super cute. And I altered some small wooden spoons. They only measure four and a quarter inches, I believe was the measurement. So for the first three cards, I used Graphic 45 Once Upon a uh, Springtime and it has like these small images. I used the fairy ones and I removed this piece on the first set. So I'll probably use this on a separate project. And I received these from Lilibeth. Thank you, Lilibeth. I used this Hello stamp. And this one that says Dear Friends. And this is Fairy Rhymes by Prima. I love this image. I haven't used her yet. I used some crochet ribbon from Marcia. Flat Gold M. Thank you, Marcia. Some um, small pink pearl strands. And for my sentiments, I used this one that I just purchased at the Expo, Sprinking a Little Fairy Dust Your Way. And that's by the Rubber Necker Company. And for my papers, I used Prima's Pixie Glen. I received that from Louise. Thank you, Louise. And this Sizzix die that I just picked up, it's Labels Majestic Number no. 2. I think I used this one because, you know, the card is small. So this is the first set. So I'll just show you one. And I used um, Recollections Craft Paper for my base. And then here's the first layer, the minty green paper, and I distressed it. And then here's that labels, Majestic Labels. This paper has some script writing on it. I don't know if you can see it. And I just stamped Hello right on that. And here's the cute little fairy image. These are Prima's Calypso Tin Flowers. And I added a bling in the center. There's the crochet ribbon trim that uh, Marcia gave me. Thank you, Marcia, and some and the pearls. So that's the first three. And then the second set, I love the way these turned out. I used Bramble Rose. And I used these um, Iced Got Flowers by Prima in pink. They're really pretty. And this is what they look like. So again, I made three of them. And I used some seam binding that I received from Karen, JB Lady, Scrapper 48. Thanks, Karen. So again, for my base, I used craft paper. And then I used pink cardstock as my first layer, and I distressed it. Distressed the edges. And then there's the bramble rose paper. Again, I distressed it. And then here's the pretty fairy image. And then I stamped here the dear friend. And I just added my seam binding and um, tied two pieces on here. And I just frayed the edges of the seam binding. And then those are the uh, little Prima pink flowers. And I used a little gold color gem center there. And then on each card, I stamped sprinkling a little fairy dust your way. And then I added some stickles on here. So those turned out really cute. I like those. And then for my altered spoons, I received them from Marcy, Marcia Flat Gold M, and she gave them to me over at the expo when we exchanged gifts. And they were small wooden spoons that she purchased at Hobby Lobby. I think Karen said they were $1.99 for a package. I'm not sure how many come in a package, but Marcia gave me four. And right now I have them like displayed in this little pretty milk glass bowl. And um, yeah, I'm gonna send these out in racks. So what I did was, I didn't know what I was going to do with them because they're so small. But I was inspired by Chilpa. She's Craft, Craft Angel Online, I believe is her YouTube channel. I've been watching her videos forever and I thought her, her YouTube name was Crafty Angeline. I don't know why. But I was looking at it and it looks like it spells Craft Online. So it's Chilpa. Everybody knows Chilpa. And so here's the spoon. And the first thing I did was gesso it and then I painted it with this. Delta paint in what color is this? It had a color on here. It disappeared. Light ivory. There it goes. <laughs> and I was gonna stamp the spoon here, like write a little uh, stamp a little sentiment on each one. But I got so involved with the flowers that I totally forgot. And I figured it would be difficult to stamp them after I added all the embellishments on here. So for my laces, I used. This one that I received received from Susan J8801, and it looks like this. And this one I cut to four and a half inches. And then I just did a running stitch and then attached the ends together. And then the second lace I used is this one that I received from Stephanie Vintage Paper Girl. 
and this one I cut at three and a half inches. Again, the running stitch, and you pull it and tie your ends together. So I sew them together, both layers, and then I added this pretty button that I picked up at the expo. It's really sparkly, and I sewed that on there too. And then I added this um, silver flat back pearl, which I got this in a rack. I can't remember who sent it to me, but when I first got it, I'm, I thought it was ugly. I'm like, I'm never going to use that. But I love the way it looks with this combination. So I'm glad that I you know, hang, held on to it. And then I just wrapped around some crochet ribbon here. I added a little stick pin. I did this with my forks too. I added a little gem head stick pin and dangled a little pearl on there. So that turned out super cute and they're basically all the same except the trims are different and um, I have pearls dangling on this one. This one has a larger pearl and then this one has this piece here. So yeah, they turned out super cute. I'm happy that I was able to um, alter those. And then while I'm here, let me show you my order from Julie, the paper bag ladies. You know, I'm always using her crochet trims. I love her stuff. I don't know what I'll do if she stops selling these because she finds these crochet um, tablecloths or what have you and then she cuts them up and puts them on her um, Zibit store. She had an Etsy, but she's now moved to Zibit. So I got these large ones. And these were 12 for, let me look at my little price sheet. 12 large for 550, which is a fabulous price. And if I want, I can cut this piece and use this center piece and then use, use the bits and pieces on this one. So I got that one. And then these were her coffee dyed doilies. So I didn't have to coffee dye anything. She did she did all the work for me. And these are were 12 for four dollars. And they're a nice size. And she um coffee stained them, so love those. And then these were 24 for five bucks, which is an awesome deal. 24 ladies. Aren't these beautiful? I just love that tan color. Super gorgeous for those shabby chic flowers. And then these were, let me see, white ones, white, white, white. 12 white crochet flower doilies for $3. Again, awesome deal. I like the way she writes the number, the amount on, on the bags. And then look how beautiful these are, ladies. Super gorgeous. And then she sent me a little gift. She sent me this one. And I have this really large one here that I can cut into little bits and pieces if I want. Isn't that pretty? And then she sent me this one. Gorgeous. And then this tan one. Super beautiful. Thanks, Julie, for these. And thanks for doing what you do. Keep cutting, girl, because I'll keep coming for more. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Post a comment if you wish. And have a great weekend, and to all you mommies out there, happy Mother's Day. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate you watching my videos, and I love reading your comments. Have a fabulous day. Bye. Mwah.